Okay, I am going to welcome you to my latest Stitch Fix unboxing and try on video. I have to give a trigger warning because <laughs> I had the windows of the house open today and didn't realize till I was trying to edit this video together that it is crazy with dust motes. There are dust motes and apparently tiny little cat hairs <laughs> and everything else floating across the screen. So if that is going to bother you, this is not the video for you because they are just drifting across the entire time. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. And apparently I decided to wear the squeakiest uh, sandals possible, which we, you will never see in the video, but you will hear them squeaking away. <laughs> so, so if you're really into crazy excessive dust motes and squeaky shoes stay tuned this is the video for you plus a bonus this box is kind of crazy outrageous stay tuned see you later got another Bye. stitch fix in so not really sure what's in here we will give it a look i asked for some uh snake print um uh, pretty much anything snake print um spring transition pieces and some Tom's Lexi sandals if they have any. So we just do what else in here. Got my envelope with my style card and the invoice. Um, a tiny bundle with lots of color. <laughs> I, I don't have anything this hot pink color, so. And let's see, oh, two shoe bags. I wonder if there's a purse in one? I didn't even know they could send you two accessories at once, so. Let's see, should I, yeah, we'll just, I will get the um, cards out. Just flip this out because I know it's so noisy. All right. Um, oh, Trina Turk. That's usually a pretty pricey brand. So, let's see what this hot pink is. Um, it's a very nice feeling blouse in this sort of hot pink, bubblegum pink. Kind of looks like something Barbie would have worn back in the day, honestly, but, uh, you know, I'm sure it's perfectly lovely. It, it is, a, by outward appearances, it is nothing like my style, but it feels really luxe, so I guess we'll be trying that on. It doesn't, let's see, um, this is Daniel Rain. Oh, I didn't even say what that was. My bad. Trina Turk Naples Cowl Neck Blouse in Magenta. Uh, size medium, so magenta. Um, and I don't like cowl necks either. <laughs> I guess it's not a dolman, so. Uh, this is the Pale Sky Gardenia Crochet Detail Top in Black, size medium. I wonder if Pale Sky and Daniel Rain are one and the same because I have a, I get like Daniel Rain vibes from Pale Sky items, but uh, let's see, did it say black? It does say black. It almost looks like a deep plum, but maybe that's just because of the floral, but it's got all your signature Daniel Rain, Pale Sky type um, little details on it that does look pretty. Oh, this is some sort of olive pants let's see cosmic blue love addy cargo skinny pant in olive size eight stitch fix exclusive I do like cargo pants so it's got the sort of uh, outline pocket is that called a pork chop pocket i'm not sure and then these buttoned back 
sockets and skinny pants. Feels like it has a good stretch. Yep, lots, lots of stretch. So now I am so curious about what are in these accessory bags. I've got the first time with the new uh, gray accessory bags with the zipper. Is something different looking. Let's see if I can find anyone with the with the tag. Where is the tag? Ah, tags outside. This is the Joie, J Joy, Joie. I don't know. J O I E footwear Baniston leather slide sandal in black. I will probably not be doing a try on on this on camera these look very creased i don't know if that there's like a deep crease here this, oh it's almost disturbing this is very sorry for the sun it's that calf skin or whatever that's like got actual fur on it sorry john snow it actually reminds me of the calf and i don't know if i like that no um but it looks like a well-made shoe other than the fact that I think nobody else has worn this. No, it doesn't have any wear on the bottom, but it looks a little chipped up on the toe. I don't know. That's not really the style of sandal that I like anyway, but I will try it on privately later and let you know what I think of it. And, um, and this is the Tom's Lexi sandal, but they sent me a nine and a half. I always wear a nine in a Lexi, and I have nine as my size on my profile, so I'm not sure what that's about. So I definitely won't be, this gives you a great idea of what the shoe looks like, and it's a beautiful neutral. I hope there's... An exchange because I do I would like a, a nice nude neutral um, taupey sort of Lexi but yeah I wear a nine and this is a nine and a half looks like it might be a wide also and I don't have wide it's very odd that the size would be wrong and the width would be wrong Anyway, I am always glad to have some Lexis that I don't already have, but um, yeah, I won't be trying these on because they are the wrong size, and I wear them so often that I know I'm a nine. So, and then these were, had that disturbing fur on them. <laughs> I don't want something made out of actual. Anyway. John Snow's right here, and he almost has the same pattern. Let's see what my note says. Hi, Ginger. Happy spring forward fix day. I saw your notes, and unfortunately, Natasha wasn't available to style you today. I could have almost predicted that from looking at the box because um, Natasha really hit it out of the ballpark last time. I had a five for five, and um, this one has a lot of things like that are just way off the mark. I mean, I know every box can't be a five for five, but they just seem way out of, I don't know. They did have the Lexis, which I did ask for, but other than that, it almost seemed like someone else's box. Okay. Um, I had so much fun picking out some chic, chic, trendy pieces that you will love. I wasn't able to find you, the skirt you mentioned, but I did find the Tom sandals, woohoo. Thank you, yeah, yeah, hopefully there's an exchange uh, available for a nine. I also saw that you liked a pair of camo print pants and, that we said a while back, but the fit was off, so I thought you would like this pair of Cosmic Blue Love Skinny Cargos. They have a flattering fit, um, and then the note kind of gets cut off, but yeah. Yeah, I have the style card. Ooh, that pink is so bright. And um, I'll try to pop everything up on the screen individually. So, uh, let's just go ahead and look at the prices now. <laughs> Get it. 
get it over with right now. Okay, the Cosmic Blue Love Addy Skinny Cargo Pant is $88, which is on the pricier end of Stitch Fix Pants, but um, you know, maybe they'll be great. Who knows? Uh, Tom's Lexi and Beige, $59, so that's not bad for a Lexi. Uh, Daniel Rain, see? Daniel Rain, not Pale Sky, so I guess they are one and the same. Daniel Rain, Gardenia Crochet Detail Top, black, $68, so that's about par for the course for Daniel Rain. Uh, the Joie, I'm going to say Joie, Joie Footwear Baniston Leather Slide Sandal, that's the black um, zebra sandal, is $138. Well, that, even if I love them, which... I don't, um, I'm just, they're not my aesthetic, we'll say. I'm sure they're fine and lovely on other people, but I just, they kind of give me the willies. But anyway, uh, $138, I would not pay for just the slide sandal like that. Um, no, no, no. And the Trina Turk Naples Cowl Neck Blouse in Magenta, $188. Did they just, I mean, let's see what she's made of. Let's see, what are you, made, what are you, what, what makes, I mean, okay. No. Sleeveless top, okay, does have some darting, has a little vent, otherwise square cut bottom, fabric feels like a nice weight, has a tiny, um, in the back and the cowl neck and darting at the bust but what are you made of that makes you $188 other than your name 100% polyester it's not lined not that I necessarily think it needs to be because it's pretty heavy but I just no 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 I, I don't like it anyway and thank goodness because no 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 I wonder it's almost odd it's almost as if there's no name on, because the note's cut off. I don't get the name of who did style it, but please don't. Oh, her name's on here. I don't know if I should even say it because, oh my goodness, no, no. I'm almost, what, it almost seems like they just threw a bunch of Hail Mary expensive stuff in here. Uh-uh, no. The stylus pick subtotal is $541. I'm really glad I don't like much of anything because this is outrageous. Um, buy all discount would be $135.25. Order subtotal $405.75. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I want to, how do you spell want want because that that needs to be the title of this um, stitch fix unboxing so I will try on the clothing pieces and um, I don't have high hopes I'm sorry um, no I, I do like the sandals I will see if they have an exchange and you know, unless, I, I do like Daniel Rain, but I don't know. Um, we'll see, we'll see, but I'm definitely not keeping the $138 sandals, nor the $188 blouse. So, I will try everything on, and we'll talk about it again. <laughs> see you in a sec. I guess I should be secretly thankful that, uh, secretly grateful that I don't like much of anything in the box. Everything was off. Even the thing that I asked for that I received is wrong. It's the wrong size and a wide, so what are you going to do? 
Okay, let's see. We have the, I started off <laughs> with the most positive pieces that I could. Um, we have the Daniel Rain slash Pale Sky Gardenia Crochet Detail Top in black, $68. Uh, which is, you know, I don't mind paying 68 for a Daniel Rain that I love. And this one's just okay. I mean, I do think the colors are in my wheelhouse, as they say. And I do like the crochet detail, but I don't think I like it $68 worth today. And the um, elastic on the wrist three-quarter area is a little... Every once in a while, I keep finding it digging in a bit, even though when it's all the way down, it doesn't, but if I move at all, it's like kind of a little, little tighter than I liked. Um, and these are the Cosmic Blue Love Addy Cargo Skinny Pant and Olive, plus $88. Um, I don't really find this part flattering, so we will not discuss that. The length is great. It's a kind of an ankle length. Color's okay. It's not my favorite shade of olive, but um, I'm not sure I like the pockets or anything either. And since I don't like the tummy area and the rise is too short, I would have preferred it if it were a high rise. So I just won't get these and that'll be that. But let me try on this Trina Turk top and see if I am blown away so immensely that I changed my mind completely about it. I think that's going to happen. Magenta top, do you have magical properties? We'll find out. Hang on. Eek. Here is the Trina Turk Naples cowl neck blouse in magenta. $188. All right. Um, my bra straps are wanting to not line up with the armholes. I don't like it anyway. It's just square across. I don't know. I have a hard time feeling that I couldn't go to Belk or somewhere and find a similar blouse in a much more flattering color. For me i know this is probably somebody's ideal shape I, and, and i know this isn't for everybody but i can pretty much guarantee you that any stylist that has um looked through my pinterest would never pick this top that's a, a, all i'm saying it, it it in no way fits my lifestyle and i know you want you need a little pizzazz thrown in every once in a while but this just seemed like a, a really expensive two pairs of shoes odd one of them being quite expensive, odd, and this being so expensive and completely out, out of the ballpark um, as far as style-wise. I can see where the pants are under here, so it would need lining, I would think. Um, yeah, the cut's doing nothing for me. Um, no. So this is an easy no. Um, you know? And I did see a few places where there were like just random threads that would need like closer cutting. I, I just don't think the quality is even here, even if it were something I would like. So that's a no. Let me see if I can show you. other the shoes better again now that it's not quite as sunshiny in here I'll take the other shoe yeah this is just not um, you can see that sort of fur you know it's like calf skin or something um draw it's just very I'm not impressed with this shoe it's already kind of scuffed up and I have not tried it on I will not try it on um, but yeah no no I don't think it's a $138 shoe 
Okay, so this is the wrap up. I will show you the toms again. These are something I requested and they would have been great in that I don't have this color and it's a nice neutral color that I could get a lot of use out of. Uh, FYI, a little Tom's Lexi uh, testimonial. I have at least eight pairs of Lexis. I've bought them year after year because for my foot and for me, it's barefoot but better. It's, I get enough support for myself. Now I know different people have different issues. Uh, there's just something about these two bands that just hold on. I never have had rubbing, don't have to break them in, no, nothing. And I just wear them probably 80% of the year here uh, in Louisiana, I can wear these shoes. Um, so yeah, this would be a great neutral. My one thing is, do I try to exchange if they have it, or do I put a note about how off the mark this entire fix was and ask for them to be sent again because it would be great to have the option of having it in a fix that I have any chance of getting the discount with. Um, but $59 is not a bad price for these. So do I take the chance of not receiving them again? And then if I do send them back, I don't know if they would ever show up and shop my looks. Um, so. I don't know if you know anything about it. You give me your opinion. I know I w would wear them. I just, uh, I will most likely, if there's an exchange for A9, I will exchange. Otherwise, I'll just request them again. But yeah. All right. Uh, So, sorry for <laughs> being a little negative. Let's get as much of me in this magenta top as possible because this is not gonna happen again. <laughs> but yeah, if you, no shade, if you love this top, like if this is what your dreams are made of, it's nothing, it's, everybody has different tastes and my taste is really kind of bizarre and, <laughs> you know, kind of like um, the stay-at-home mom grown-up version of Lydia from Beetlejuice. So I don't have any business telling anybody else what their style should be, but this just isn't anything remotely close to what I have pinned or what I've ever purchased or what I've ever... I don't mind being pushed out of my box, which is last time, you know, that gold gray top just was nothing I would ever even think I could try and it just you know rocked my world so i'm not saying that they shouldn't give you things that are out of your comfort zone but this just seems like just a an afterthought like just like oh let's throw in 188 dollar top in here and who cares you know but maybe i'm wrong hopefully i'm wrong and Look, good news is I can just send it back and maybe get offered a quick turnaround fix and have more to offer. But I'm trying to slow down with my shop my looks. <laughs> I do look at it several times, but um, now that I kind of have gotten a little out of my system, um, hopefully I'll calm down and only get things that either have been unicorns that I've been after for quite a while or just something that just sparks my interest. Um, I've had about... say 30-40% luck with uh, with what I've selected so far. I see the UPS truck trucking up outside. My attention is uh, drawn away. So I will catch up with you later and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do a wrap up again in a second. Regular. Back to our regular schedule program. Oh, fun fact. There are two of those little stay dry packs in the top of this pair of pants. So anyway, uh, and I do realize I do not have this top styled properly. This is not the way it was not intended to wear probably with some skinny cargos. 
but um, that's the point. Like I would not have a use for this. Um, even if I were to dress up, it wouldn't be this style of dress up. So yeah, no, no. But anyway, on to a positive note. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more sporadic uh, videos. And um, wish me better luck next time. Or maybe it's better that I am disappointed and then I don't have to part with my money. But uh, thank you all. Stay well and see you next time. Bye.